how do you calculate the size of a septic tank? Okay, sizing a septic tank. Um, I suppose the most important thing for people to understand is that there is a minimum base volume to have um, with a septic tank, and this is 2,000 litres. So wherever you start, you will always start with 2,000. Um, you then need to identify the source of waste, um, and then I would advise potential people to refer to the flows and loads guide from British Water. Within that document, they have um, a breakdown of different types of sources of waste, um, whether it be from a standard vegetable developing, could be from a hospital, a school, office block, whatever it might be. Um, and of course, they will say the number of litres uh, discharged by, per person for that um, particular source of waste per day. So if we make this straightforward for ourselves, we should refer to a standard residential dwelling. Um, they generally say that we'll have 150 litres per person per day. So on a five population system, we'll have five times uh, 150 to get 750 litres per person per mm -hmm. day. Um, that's the number of litres of volume being discharged from that property. We then that, add that onto our standard 2000 base value, we get 2750. So this tank, uh, the septic tank storage volume they would need to supply would need to be that or something which is similar which is of course bigger than that um so if, um if you were to take into consideration a another example i'm going to make the math slightly more difficult for myself now um if we were to talk about um a full-time office staff they will have 90 um liters um per person per day if we just okay if we then just say oh we've got 10 people working in our office building let's make the math easy again we can do of course do <laughs> nine times ten um, to get 900 liters of water um, flowing from that office block into our tank plus our 2000 liters we've got 2900 so again we're referring to a tank which has a minimum volume of 2,900 litres. This could be could be anything bigger than that. Potentially by increasing the tank size, you're increasing the interval for the sludging time. But again, depending on the, the manufacturer of the tank, the, that interval will vary. It might be six months, mm. it could be 12 months. It's good to get that information off the customer before you commit to, of course, uh, passing with your money. So just bear that in mind.